konti na lang, konti na lang, konti masasya pa. <laughs> guys, this is Rio and let's experience UK. We are in London and today we are actually in the middle of our lockdown period. And unfortunately, autumn is going away quickly and I still haven't gone to my pumpkin party. So yeah, but it's never too late to have the autumn feels and we're gonna have our pumpkin. Great, let's go. And here we go. This is the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park. And yes, as the name says, it, this is where the um, Olympic Games were held before. And look at that. Wonderful, isn't it? All the colors are so stunning. Uh, so lovely to walk around here while we're hunting for the pumpkin. And Whoa, this great tower, it's called ArcelorMittal And just beside it is a stadium Oh yeah, not to mention, Zac Efron, he had a try on this tower and it was really cool I'm looking for a cheaper pumpkin and finally found it here in Alti. It's nice if you can find a pumpkin with a stock um, attached still and a wider one with um, the bottom flat. So you can actually have a very good, very good room for carving. To kick the boredom out of lockdown, I decided to make or carve my own jack-o'-lantern just for a bit of fun and yep our hat is ready so let's go we just need simple things cutting knife, spoon, marker, thumbtacks I tried to scribble the design that I like first and I just wanted something funny I kind of don't like something scary, so let's see if this one fits. Here goes the pumpkin and my funny design. <laughs> Looks promising. <laughs> what do you think? I'm gonna start cutting now and be careful with your scissors. Next, I will just be pinning them right into the spot where it looks like um, a face in my pumpkin. So just be careful with the thumbtacks as well. Alright, there you go. I got a smiley one. Don't forget a cute little nose. Then we're gonna start marking them. So just trace, 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 trace wherever. And don't be afraid that if you don't get it so perfectly done, uh, we'll have a little trick later on. After that, we're just gonna remove all the pins and let's see how it goes. You don't need to get really a perfect um, curves and shapes in there because we're gonna carve later on and this will all disappear. There 
There we go. Does it look happy? Carving time! But wait, always be careful with your knife, alright? So at the back of the pumpkin, we're meant to cut a square in it. So just use a marker to make a little perfect square there. Alright, we can start! The pumpkin starts dripping, so um, I just place a little bit of the napkin down there. Should have done this in the first place. Well, it's my first time. I never knew about this. Okay, this pumpkin is a bit tough actually, and you need a little bit of effort. So kids, please ask your parents. Be careful with the knife. Once done, just snap at the corner and... There you go. Look at that. Massive. Great. All we have to do is just, we're gonna take out all this gut out from a pumpkin. To the side. Oh. Right. Just be careful. Baby's coming up. Ready with your container. You can actually cook these pumpkin seeds, like you can roast them and crack them like nuts. Take out the pumpkin seeds and we're gonna clear out the inside. It's like I'm delivering a baby. At the same time, you can actually use a spoon there just to scrape off everything and I think that will be easier as well. If you got a scoop at your home, that helps. After cleaning the inside, we just have to close it back with a square that we plucked out earlier and we can wipe the rest of those juicy ones that are coming out with a tissue paper just to make it neat and avoid those gooey things. Back to carving. So we're starting off with the nose because it's the easiest one. Look like that. And we're gonna do the eyes. Ugh. It's a little bit challenging but yeah, let's see how it goes. Anyway, challenge accepted. Another thing is this trying to nucleate the eye and this part is a little bit tough because of the intricate design that I made. It actually just gave me trouble but I know it will pay off later on. And just be uh, careful not to destroy the edges like it's gonna cut off the tangling part. By the way guys, if you got like good carving ideas better than mine, please don't hesitate to comment down below. It will really help me in a future carving career of mine. <laughs> I was so scared that the right eye of the pumpkin is gonna fall off. So the dangling part, just attach it with the um, toothpick just in case in the future it will fall. We're nearly done. We just have to clean out um, some excess markers here and I actually got a swab. It's an alcohol swab. You can use any any um, alcohol and just a cotton just to actually 
to wipe out all the excess, just like magic. Finishing and polishing, wiping all the excess, and yep, you can see there's like um, shredded things inside the pumpkin. So it's up to you if you want to clear it up or just leave it as a design. There you go. An eternity later. Wow, this lantern is never easy. But voila! Ta -da! This is my one. So there you go, we got this lovely guy here and yep. So for more tips about this carving thing, I'm no expert but yeah, I will try. Please follow me, subscribe to my channel and yeah. If you wanted to have fun on the lonely, not really lonely, on the London weather that is extremely drastically changing all the time, please do follow me, hit like, smash that button. And please subscribe to my channel, ding ding, ring your notify bell. See ya!